In today's video, I'll be answering your questions regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 with a focus on the police system. We'll be looking at how the police will have a bigger impact on the game. We'll talk about all the new cars, the new stations, features, etc. We'll also cover details such as references to Too Fast, Too Furious, the lines of dialogue, respawning, weight system, kidnapping system, enterable malls, animation preferences, and more. Before we begin, a friendly reminder, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button as most of my viewers are not subscribed leave a like on the video we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers i sincerely appreciate your support thank you for all the nice comments you leave on the videos if you haven't joined the discord server yet make sure to do so from the link in the description a special thanks to all the members of the channel relamore nick the bala mike the nerd eddie the bullet armin the one i am vlad 66 sham god jd rajveer and our newest member fnn fago thank you so much for becoming a member thank you so much for being members if you like what i do and would like to support the channel further you can also become a member but let's start with the first question coming from yo aiden do you think police in this game will have a bigger impact with more cars stations playable etc i would like to recap everything we know about the police from the leaks and the trailer and how they will have a bigger impact than in any previous gta installment starting with the police recognition system from the hank swaffles robbery video we learned that the five star wanted level will be returning and also that once lucia enters a police vehicle you can see written no vehicle description which quickly changes to full vehicle description which suggests that the police can get a full description of your vehicle also the text prompt on the top left side says any vehicle you're seen entering will be known by the law you can now surrender to the police during a robbery as can be seen in the hank swaffles video lucia can tell jason to surrender to the police the police will also receive significant improvements in ai in one of the videos you can see the enemy ai shooting Lucia when she turns around with her back to him, the police AI can be seen adjusting his stance depending on the height of the object in front of him and lowering his position when he reloads his weapon. And he also keeps shooting Lucia while moving left and right. In other videos like the Hank Swaffles robbery, the police AI is also seen raising their guns over high objects like cars. There's also a new police system. There's a bar on the top of the screen that says time until cops dispatch when committing a crime. Also in the Hank Swaffles robbery video, once the police arrive at the location they wait for the player to come out instead of rushing in in the video with lucia in the back of the vehicle in the police chase the sheriff's in the passenger seat look out their side windows to check if cars were coming from the left slash right this is rockstar level detail it is expected other npcs will also perform this animation but moving on to the police departments here are all of them we have kelly county police department leonard county sheriff's office leonida department of corrections leonida highway patrol ocean Beach Police Department, Fort Gilhorn Police Department, Vice City Police Department, Vice Dale Police Department, Vice Dale Sheriff's Office, and United States Coast Guard. In the scene from the trailer showing the overturned car, the police challenger exhibits a traffic advisor light bar at the back, and in the scene where the bikers are taking control, a Dodge Charger is equipped with the Florida-style double light bar on the front. But let's move on to the vehicles. We have the Bravado Police Buffalo, the Buffalo S the X new version and the standard buffalo we also have the vapid police cruiser interceptor the brand new bravado police gauntlet interceptor the sheriff suv the ford explorer police suv and the police maverick moreover in the leaked footage a new building that can be seen is the miami police department in little havana vice city neighborhood enhancement team slash rockridge neighborhood service center seen in the rockridge videos moving on to the events spoiler warning we'll look at all of the events from the leaks starting with the first list we have cop arrest encounter multiple cop pat downs gang mail found nothing gang mail found something location two found nothing slash something we also have multiple cop traps with different locations alley apartment complex bingo body shop bulk storage burnout scooters cafe caraway cash and carry closing store food trucks kington hotel and massage parlor furthermore we have dirty cop shakedown location Location 1 and 2, Drug Deal Cop Raid, Off-Duty Cop, which sounds interesting, different events for Port Gilhorn Police Station, Port Gilhorn Across Police Station, and also Distracted Port Gilhorn Police Station. There are a couple of events called Cop Trap in different locations. There is a chance that you can be ambushed by cops. They seem to coincide with the easy score events. Here's some more details. A cop from one of the videos has his clothing based on the Miami Beach PD. In Lucia's shootout with the cops in Rockridge, you can see 
see a cop with a bulletproof helmet exiting the car. Regarding the cop arrest encounter, like in GTA 4, maybe you can see the cops arresting certain NPCs. But these are pretty much all the details regarding the police. So let's move on with the rest of the questions. The next question comes from Thomas Collins 7539. I can't wait for GTA 6. This is for the next Q&A. Will you be doing a gameplay of GTA 6? I've answered this in a previous Q&A. Yes, I do plan on making gameplay videos of GTA 6 when the game comes out on everything, so you don't have to worry about that. The next question comes from Jonas Best Clips. For your next Q&A, do you think that there will be any references to Too Fast, Too Furious? We've not seen any yet, but knowing Rockstar, there will definitely be references to the second Fast and Furious, considering Rockstar's history with Fast and Furious references and the fact that the movie is based in Miami. The next question comes from Justin Denzi 19 My question, how many lines of dialogue will this game have? And I want to look at this Reddit post for the people questioning if GTA 6 will be any good. RDR2 had 8 years of development, 700 voice actors, 300,000 animations, 500 motion capture actors, 500 lines of dialogue, 1,000 software developers, 60 or 70 cameras used, 192 mission soundtracks, 110 musicians and a team of 1,600 people working on the game. Budget is estimated to have been about $540 million. Rockstar's main game has always been GTA. Now they have had over 10 years of development and an estimated budget of $2 billion. This game can't be anything else but a freaking masterpiece. Just a little food for thought for the people who are questioning if it won't be able to deliver after the expectations. But it'll undoubtedly be interesting to see how many lines of dialogue GTA 6 will have considering RDR2 has 500,000. But moving on to the next question from M7MDD797. I didn't answer these questions in my previous Q&A, so I'll answer them in this one. Firstly, after respawning in a hospital, if that will still be a thing, will we spawn inside the hospital and be able to interact with it? Will we be able to enter one at any time? And that's a great question, but unfortunately, we cannot give an answer to it yet. We have no information regarding the hospitals, but that's definitely a great question. Considering Rockstar allowed us to enter the hospital in GTA 4, I do think we'll also be able to do it in GTA 6. It wouldn't make sense for Rockstar to not allow us to. The next question is, will there be a weight system like in GTA San Andreas, where we'll be able to gain weight, lose weight, build muscle, etc.? Yes, it was revealed by the leaks. Yes, Jason and Lucia have different body types and different clips from the leaks. Jim can also be seen in the leaked events, so a weight and muscle system is expected. The next question, will we be able to kidnap people like in RDR2 using a lasso, zip tie, or if possible, some new stuff we haven't seen in any GTA title before? Yes, the ability to restrain NPCs can be seen in the leaked footage. Lucia restrains an NPC in the Hank Swaffles robbery video with what seems to be zip ties. The next question, will we be able to enter malls slash airports and interact with them? It's pretty much a given. In a previous video, we've discussed the possibility of a fully enterable mall. This evergreen mall was brought up again recently on Reddit and pictures of a real life mall similar to this one were shared. We could enter the airport and the mall in GTA Vice City, so I think Rockstar will allow us to do it in GTA 6 as well. But thank you for the questions. The next one comes from Breezy888. Question, do you think GTA Online will have a lot of different animation preferences like driving in a different way, walking slash running in a different way, etc. In GTA Online, we had different walking styles. We have no information regarding this, but it would be nice to see Rockstar expand on it. Great question. The next one comes from Premium Noah. Do you think that Jason would be a cop? Like from the trailer, there is body cam footage that is likely coming from a police officer, seems likely. That's a very popular theory and I have made a separate video on it before, so I don't want to repeat myself. You can go and check it out. The following question comes from Jack Stauber. Chris, are we in a simulation? It depends, my friend. Are you in a simulation? A question from eMoneyBags. Do you think that you get to buy houses or buy hotel rooms? We only know that purchasable businesses will be in the game. We have limited knowledge regarding the real estate, but as GTA, we should be able to buy all kinds of property. The last question comes from Cecilia Yuguchuku. Chris, are we going to be able to eat any food we want? From the leaks, we know that we'll be able to eat and drink from our inventory. When Jason is at a gas station, one wine, soda, and fruit can be seen added in the inventory on the top left side of the screen, which means you can eat or drink from your inventory at any time, like in Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA Online snacks. In addition, in the video where you can see an enemy NPC shooting at Jason, right after Jason was low on health, a tip appears on the top left side of the screen and you can see red and you are injured, your health will regenerate slowly, open your weapon wheel and use a recovery item to replenish your health faster. From the trailer, we saw that the inside of the convenience store in one of the final shots was extremely detailed, which could suggest we may be able to interact with and purchase the food items inside the store. But that's everything I wanted to discuss in today's Q&A video. Thank you all so much for the questions. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos just like this one. If you haven't joined the Discord 
server yet, make sure to do so from the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.